Hi, I'm Kevin with the Boat Specialists. Today we're going to talk about the Flexboat 680. It's a 23 foot hard top inflatable rib. We're going to take her out on the water, see what she can do. I'll do a walkthrough of the boat as well. Let's get into it. I want to point out the back seat. Uh, nice three seater. I mean, plenty of room and these seats feel really good to absorb like the shock. They, they um, are firm, but, but also soft. I mean, but they're, they're firm in a good way uh, for this kind of boat. Um, it does have a towing pylon for, you know, water sports. Uh, you can tow kids out there on tubes if you want to take it to the lake for a day and go water skiing, wakeboarding. You do have that uh, ability to do so. And back here you have these nice, and this is all real teak in this boat, by the way, but you have these nice um, teak topped swim steps uh, with a ladder that folds out. And it's a really good, I mean, it's plenty of space to walk around, um, change into a swimsuit if you're in the middle of nowhere, jump in, jump out, hang out in general. I mean, this is, this boat's awesome. I could see putting a cushion right here too and just laying up on the back and having a beer with my feet hanging in the water. Um, it's just a, a well-designed well -designed boat in the back and the transom area is no exception. All right, so this boat is comfortable. Um, you can see you've got two seats here. There are three seats in the back um, and, and some standout points on this boat. I mean, you don't see a ton of hard top ribs out there. Uh, so you get the performance, the seaworthiness of a rib, but you also get the protection of the cabin. Um, I'll just point out a couple quick things that are really showstoppers for this boat. Right here, th this, is, this is basically a liquor cabinet. So you've got two cutouts here that would, you know, handle like a fifth, uh, fifth size bottle. These are half liter wine bottles. Uh, you have three of those, two cutouts for one liter wine bottles, and then one that uh, looks like it, it's perfect for like a handle of Tito's vodka. So you've got your kind of party entertaining space there. And um, underneath here, this pops up to a pop-up sink. So you have a full wet bar right here. And then under here is actually a large cooler. Um, so you can put some ice in there, keep your drinks cold, keep your food cold, all of the above. Um, right below, you, you know, you're, you're taking people out. You're having a fancy day on the water. You're gonna want some cheese and bread and things like that. Uh, there's plenty of storage space for all that, cutting boards. Um, some cutlery, some plates, whatever you need. I mean, this is kind of like your entertaining space wet bar. So standing up in the cabin, I, I got plenty of room. Uh, I'm about six foot. This ceiling height is actually six foot seven. So plenty of room for taller people, uh, easy to walk through. It's, it's fine, it's perfect. I can have this nice stainless steel grab rail here if we were out on the water or if I'm sitting in this seat, it's perfect. Um, it wraps around, so if you're back here moving around the boat, this is just a great, great safety feature. And you see those throughout the boat. So coming back here to the seats, these are great. They flip up if you want to take a standing um, position or they flip down as well. And you got your foot rest right here. Uh, they're very comfortable. They're very stout and sturdy seats. Like I feel like I could go take on some waves and, and nothing's gonna happen. I mean, these are just built uh, solidly. Um, there is a little space here just to um, put some items, personal items, phone, keys, it's not gonna fall out. It's pretty deep. It's probably about three, four inches deep right in here. So there's a lot of room for stuff. You could put a tablet and probably see the screen there if you wanted to do something like that. Um, coming over to the helm station, uh, Mark here is driving. We've got uh, a small Garmin chart plotter display on there. We have the Yamaha 6YC gauge, which is a multifunction gauge, has all the information you need. Um, you have an analog fuel gauge, um, analog, what is that, a temperature gauge? And then here you, you have a switch panel that controls all the lights on the boat, controls the bilge pump, controls you know, navigation lights, the horn, the fresh water pump for the, the sink. Um, and so it's just laid out really nice and simple. We have a compass up here. 
Up above is where we have a Fusion um, audio. Now some of these things were added after the fact uh, from our outfitting department. Uh, a lot of times we bring these boats in bare and then add some features. But in this particular boat, you have a Garmin VHF, you have a Fusion stereo, um, you have speakers throughout the boat. There's two here and there's two in the sides of the uh, hardtop cabin. And then right here is a fan, which is nice if it's a hot day. Now, you can open up the windows and, and get a nice breeze through here. It also has a skylight that does open up. So you can get a good three-way breeze going through here. In addition to the fan, if it's a hot day, you're gonna have plenty of airflow. Uh, windshield wiper, if uh, the waves start coming up, which looks like a calm day for us, but we might see a bit of splashing. Um, and then of course, if you're riding at night, you do have lights throughout the boat, throughout this hardtop pilot house. Um, navigation lights, courtesy lights for both inside the boat and of course navigation so the other boaters can see you. So behind this cabin door, you might wonder what to expect. You, you normally see a cuddy cabin or something in this boat with just, just a flat uh, couple of cushions. Not this boat. So we have a full on, I, I mean, basically a stateroom style head. The kind, the kind of head and bathroom that you would see if you were in a 50 foot elegant yacht. I mean, it's, it's got everything. It's got a shower, it's got a sink right there. Um, and it's just very spacious, plenty of room to do your business and enjoyment. So if you're taking on people on the boat that don't necessarily really like boats or are hesitant to get on boats, um, they're gonna love this bathroom. So cameras don't pick it up, but there's actually quite a bit of slow rolling swell. So for filming and whatnot, it's gonna be a little shaky probably. Um, but we're gonna take this boat up and see how she performs. And let's go. Let's hit it, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty pumped. Let's see what let's see what it can do. <laughs> wow. So we got right up on plane. I'm going like 24 right now, 25 miles per hour. Not not full throttle at all. Uh, it feels great. I feel super comfortable. Woo! I mean, there's some big waves out here, but I, I could take my hands off and not even worry about it. I mean, that's the beauty of a rib, honestly. The, the tubes on the side of the boat keep you stable. We're about to hit a good one. Like, you don't even have to worry about it. It's awesome. It's beautiful. I mean, we can, you could ride at that speed in almost anything. I had not driven this boat before. I didn't know quite what to expect. It, it was incredible. I mean, it handled really well. It was super easy. It, it tracked in the water so well that I felt like I could take my hand off the steering wheel, take my hand off the throttle and just let it go. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Don't do that. But uh, for the purpose of the video and the testing, I did want to see what it would track like and it was amazing. Um, of course, with the inflatable collar around it, it, it you know, there's, there's very little possibility of capsizing or anything like that. So there, the safety aspect, you just felt safe, secure, secure in the hard top, free from the elements, and like you could take this boat anywhere and you could get anywhere quickly. And it was a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it is a definite buy in my book. I, if you're considering a rib, if you're considering any boat, you know, that's, you know, easy to trailer around the size range, definitely take a look at this boat. This is incredible. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and uh, thank you for watching.